Hello fellow chart watchers. Today I'm going to show you how you can add trend lines and channels to any sharp chart. In order to add annotations to a sharp chart, you first need to load the chart into Chart Notes, our annotation tool. We provide two versions of Chart Notes, one's for people with Adobe's Flash plugin and one for people with Sun's Java plugin. Both versions provide the same capabilities, so you can use whichever one works best on your computer. If you aren't sure which to use, try using the Flash version first, and then change to the Java version if you have trouble. So here's our chart inside Chart Notes. Let's start by drawing a trend line under this nice uptrend we have here. First, make sure the Line tool is selected at the top of the window. Then click and drag to create your trend line. To change either of the lines you've created, click on the Selection tool above the chart, and then click on the line you want to change. Two yellow boxes will appear at either end of the line once it is selected. You can now click and drag either of those boxes to adjust your trend line. You can also use the Style tools on the left side of the chart to change things like the trend line's width and color. There, that looks pretty good. Now, let's create a channel. One way of creating a channel would be to drag out another trend line and try to manually make it parallel to our first trend line. Unfortunately, that is kind of hard to do. A much better way to create a channel is to first make sure the selection tool is selected, then press and hold down the control key. Finally, click and drag the center of your original trend line. A duplicate trend line should appear that is perfectly parallel to the original. Just move it into place and voila, a perfect trending channel. So there you go. By using ChartNotes trend line tool, you can create charts that are even more powerful, charts that can help you make better investing decisions. Thanks for watching.